Welcome to Grey Primer, a weekly show that's mostly about miniatures. My name is Nick, I'm your host, and this week's episode, it's another Adepta August special with the Junithruida Parade Flute of Death. So that was the perfect music for Parade Flute of Death intro. I've got to be straight with you. This is not my favorite miniature in this range. And I'm kind of hoping that when I unbox it and build it, I'm like, oh, I was totally wrong. It's an amazing miniature. It's so much cooler than the Exorcist or the Emulator. I wish I had bought like five of them instead of just this one. Let's see. I know I mock this as being a bit of a parade float, but I'm sure it's got some redeeming features. I'm sure it's got some incredible weaponry or something going on. I just need to dig under the surface, the big swan looking thing here and find the inner cool. That's what I'm going to do. Let's check it out. Okay, so it's flamey at the top. That's pretty metal. We got herself up there with a big old staff. Looks like sculpt details with some Latin around the, the body of this swan. No, it's not a swan. White, like a white eagle or something, I guess. Maybe it's in marble. Some cool uh, sort of church window looking things here down below. Purple purity steel seals. I guess that's something to do with the Adeptus Sortas rather than using the red wax. Hey, there's some skulls down there, and, and are those double heavy flamers? Is that a quadruple flamer unit? Because that would definitely tick the cool box. The cool box. The box of cool. The cool check box. The, you know what I mean. And then the inquisitorial logo right between the claws of the pigeon, the eagle. Okay, we're getting there. What's this called? The Mace of Castigation. Oh, I think we lost a point for that one. That's pretty savage looking though. Check out that. Okay, we're recovering. And more skulls. Okay. We're, I guess we're 50-50 between Parade Float and something cool. So let's have a look at the plastic. Oh, three sprues, nice. Uh, we have, looks like this is part of the, is this a floating base? Or is there an option to, with the stairs at the back, maybe there's an option to have it on the ground and an option to have it in the air. Perhaps that's what that's for. Look in the three sprues. Uh, color here. Okay. Let's check out these three sprues. Start with the weapons and the wings. Oh, I like the uh, scroll here, the sort of the tattered scroll work. The two serious flamer units. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I know it's infantile, but tell me that doesn't look like a Adeptus Rorotas sitting on the toilet. That, that totally does. Yeah, for real though. Man, oh man. Okay. What else have we got? Cool details throughout there. We got that Latin on the steps. Got those. They're more like shields rather than windows. Okay, let me get that. And then we have those purity seals. Oh, yeah, that's nice. The two clusters of them. I use the, one of those sets for something else. Let's see if we can make it any Latin here. I love how easy it is to. Oh no, this is this is Catherine, Dominica, and Arabella. Is that so? Uh, perhaps this is the like the the saints. And then we have some more of the structure of it here, embellishments and accessories. Uh, that looks like that cool headpiece. The front of the bird here. Ah, oh, that fleur de lis is gorgeous. Is that 
Put a little tiny skull in it as well. Loving that. Okay, that's it. Let's get it built. Okay, it's Junith Yuruda. Yuruda. Okay, we have Junith. I'm giving up on the second word now. I have not pronounced it right once, and I am not about to start pronouncing it right now. It's Junith. Junith and the Parade Float of Doom. That sounds like a really cool cartoon. I am going to show you the two options for the base, as I did uh, alluded to in the unboxing there. I have the clear base, quite a short little stump on it there, and the same for the, the black plastic base there. So what was the building process like? Much like the pennant engines yesterday, actually, it was fine. It went f together straightforward. It's much more of a um, diorama piece, so it's not really one of these kits where you'd be like, oh, I'm going to utilize one of the, you know, six different ways of putting this together. It is, it is very much a put it together this way because it's going to look cool. Trust us. And it does look cool. I mean, from certain angles, this thing looks badass. You know, look at the skeletons at the bottom with these heavy flamer units. They're pretty much just like lying there, just firing them at you. That's what it looks like. That looks cool. The little plaques are on the side here. The whole collection of uh, purity seals. The these these dudes here taking a knee at the back with their their banners. These are, I don't think they're human. Are they real? Are there people whose job it is just to sit there? Maybe they're guards. Guards to make sure nobody comes up these stairs behind this person and gets stabby. These very cool um, flaming sort of torches at the back here. The incredible scroll work that adorns the entire miniature here. I mean, you could have so much fun with putting in words there. You've got the inquisitorial eye at the front. Uh, this one's obviously specific to um, the Adeptus Sororitas and the Ecclesiarchy. And I guess this is kind of a wraparound Aquila here. And you've got the huge fleur de lis of the Adeptus Sororitas at the front there. Uh, Mace of Castigation, I think that weapon's called. And then we have, of course, the heavy flamers down below. I've been dismissive of this because I think just because of the way it looks here. I think it's the white eagles that, that sort of set me off a little bit. That makes it look like a like a huge swan, like a parade float that they're riding in. If those eagles were done up in, I don't know, dark steel or with, you know, her rust in the, the folds here of the wings, perhaps copper with... Um, with with you know that sort of verdigris, the copper oxide effect in the in the folds and and you know creases, um, that could look really spectacular, especially if you have this sort of banner work done in parchment with um, text written on it and that sort of gothic scroll they or gothic script that they use. Yeah, this could be very cool. You know, I built this and I didn't even consider at the time whether these were actually human or statues or something. I don't know. I will have to look into that. But hey, this is um, all my joking aside, all my derision <laughs> aside. It was a straightforward build. It has a host of details throughout it. Like... There's just so much you can put into this miniature when you're painting it. All of these individual little plaques here. They, I, I'm not sure if they represent different orders or what that is, but you can go to town on this. And I would love to see one of these done up with like um, copper eagles or gold eagles. Something like that. Uh, because for me, just, you know, the white doesn't work. But anyway, love it. Love it, love it. And I really <laughs> did not expect to be saying that. Hard to believe, but we're halfway through Adeptus Rortas August. In the next episode, I'll be back with the Retributor Squad. That's a more specialized squad to the Battle Sisters that we looked at last week. 
Uh, very much looking forward to get into that, but that's on the next episode. For now, if you're enjoying these videos, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and uh, you can see all the links down below to all of the other videos in this series. Take care now. Bye-bye.